lifetime in Hey guys, my name is Delicaster54 and in today's video we're going to be going through some information that I missed in my last Anthem video as well as some new information that we gained from the Anthem's most recent live stream. So to start off with, the first thing we're going to look at is the live stream and all the new information we gained from this. So Lee Williams, who is part of the Anthem community team and Thomas Singleton, one of the producers at Bioware, as well as Kijuki on uh, who is an EA game changer uh, didn't give us a whole lot of information about Anthem but did give us a bit of information about the game that we didn't know. The first bit of information is about the co-op in the game. Thomas Singleton said during the stream that the entire story of Anthem has been developed in a way that it can be played in both single player and co-op. The game was developed with the intention of co-op throughout the entirety of the campaign. The next piece of info is emotes. A lot of games recently have been introducing emotes to add to your character and so it's pretty nice to see that Anthem are following this idea as well. Now in the stream we get to see a few emotes including the wave and clap emotes. We were then told by Thomas that the emotes will be customizable by class and so supposedly different classes have different unique emotes as well as some that will be shared across all classes such as the wave and the clap. As far as how much of the world we can fly around in Anthem, we were told that it is completely open. You can fly anywhere in the map at any time, even if you're in the middle of a quest. Though you will not be able to fly forever because of the javelins overheating. Another thing to note is that the game has party gather when you're in a group to help you stick together with your teammates if needed. We also got our first proper look at the interceptor in action. Now, I'm going to have a separate video on each of the javelins coming out very soon and looking at each of them in more detail, but I'll quickly go over the interceptor anyway. So the interceptor is a speed class and so is the fastest moving and its ultimate ability is a ninja-like ability where you gain two knives or blades that you can attack enemies with as well as increased movement speed and being able to move around the area with extreme speed as well as having a form of overshield that makes you not immune but less susceptible to damage. Now as I said I will go into more detail of each class in a later video for you guys as we also got to see all of the new all of the new all of the ultimate abilities for each class in this live stream. Now the next bit of info we got from the stream was the chests. In the world there are many loot chests that can be found and will give you gear and upgrades. Now these chests are shared. The loot gained is distributed evenly to all teammates so no one can be greedy with trying to take all the loot. This is with every single activity that you do. All of the loot is shared between you and your team. Now that's all the news that we got from the stream, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some other news from the Anthem website that I didn't have in my last video. So the first thing is the factions. Now, as of right now, we only know of four major factions within the Anthem world. The first faction is the Sentinels. They are chief upholders of the law throughout the cities and settlements of Anthem. The Sentinels believe in justice and order above all else and see themselves as the bulwark protecting the people from the chaos of the outside world. Then there are the Corvus, an extensive network of intelligent agents, spies and diplomats. Their main goal is to scout out threat and, rem and remove them without direct confrontation. The Cyphers are humans gifted with and rigorously trained in the ability or to communicate mentally over long distances, performing complex analytical calculations and processing incredible amounts of information. Now the final faction is the Arsonists, who are scientist mystics who have dedicated themselves to researching the mysteries of the world of Anthem. They research both the natural frontier as well as the technological. Their ultimate goal is to gather, categorize and preserve the complete knowledge of humanity. Now these are all of the factions that we know of so far. So the Sentinels, the Corvos or Corvus, the Cyphers and the Arsonists. Whether or not they'll have more in D DLC we don't know but maybe they will. 
Now the final thing I'm going to talk about in today's video are the pre-release test dates and how to be a part of them. So the first demo is the VIP demo which is set to release on February 1st 2019. This pre-release demo is only available to those who pre-order the game before its date, no matter which edition you purchase. The next demo is Early Access, which will be released on the 15th of February 2019 for Origin Access Premier members. This is for PC players only, and this will give these members access to the full release of the game a full week before its official release. The third pre-launch demo will be available on Xbox One to EA Access members, as well as PC for Origin Access Basic members. This demo will allow you to play 10 hours of Anthem, and progress made in this demo will be carried over to the full release of the game. If you purchase the game with the 10% member discount for EA Access, or if you become an Origin Access Premier member. Now that's everything you'll need to know about Anthem from the stream as well as the information I did not have in my last video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and are as hyped about Anthem as I am. Now if you want to stay up to date with Anthem news and see the videos that I'm going to do on each class as well as some Destiny and Halo videos then subscribe and turn on notifications for all the tidbits and information. Stay classy guys. Peace.